Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the weeks of May 2nd through the 16th, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, also, I want to thank all of you guys that have uh, hired me to do your personal and private readings. And overall, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show to my channel. So thank you. And those of you that are wondering, I'm using the Mystical Manga Tarot deck today. So the central issue at the heart of the matter, I have strength. Knight of Coins, Six of Wands, I have the Nine of Pinnacles, King of Wands, Two of Pinnacles or Two of Coins, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so with the central issue being strength, um, I'm feeling like you guys have maybe overcome something. Uh, it took a lot of willpower. You may either be playing hard to get or being resistant towards a love interest. For some of you, you may be dealing with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, or you could be dealing with uh, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, or air, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. And I'm feeling that there is someone who maybe wants to support you or wants to give you gifts. Um... But for whatever reason, you may be resisting them. Also, I'm seeing that you are being admired as someone who is uh, strong or independent. Um, I'm seeing for some of you, your uh, popularity could be rising. Uh, if you have your own business, this is um, having, you know, more followers or more customers, more supporters here. So things could be taking off uh, in regards to your finances or career or your status as well. So you could be rate rising in status. Um... I'm also seeing someone that is getting the courage to approach you or you are getting the, the courage to, um, to approach someone. If you're in a relationship, there is a possibility that your partner's loyalty will be tested. Uh, so if an outsider is trying to come in between you and yours, um, I'm feeling like maybe your partner is being resistant towards that offering. Uh, or this might be you. You might be resistant towards someone uh, out of loyalty because you're committed to someone else. Um, and there was something else here that I was picking up here. Yeah, I'm also getting, like I said, encouragement here. So I'm getting that there's some sort of encouragement, like you could be encouraging someone with their uh, passions or their desires. You're stroking their ego. You're telling them that they can do it, that they have the strength within them, that, you know, they can carry through. 
So I'm, I'm feeling like encouraging words are being shared. Uh, so either someone is saying these things to you or vice versa. Now with the Nine of Pentacles, this is you just being confident and independent um, with who you are. You're enjoying time to yourself. Uh, if you have been single for a while, this is you kind of getting comfortable with that. You're finally enjoying single life. Maybe it took a while, but now you're in a place where you're like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not in any hurry. Um, I've learned how to, you know, enjoy who I am and love myself. And and over this course of time, I've, I've become a stronger person because of that. I understand my self-worth and my self-value here. And I feel like your confidence is very uh, attractive. Your independence and your confidence is very attractive uh, to someone, especially maybe if they're a fire sign. Um, and I'm feeling like there may be someone that is getting ready to pursue you. Now, there's also the possibility that you might have to choose between two people. Um... Or if there is any type of situation where if you're juggling two different people or two different relationships or if it isn't you, it could be that your partner is trying to juggle two different people or relationships here. But there, there's also a little bit of instability going on with this Two of Pentacles. There's a little bit of back and forth or you may be in some sort of on-off, again, relationship where you're having trouble getting things off the ground or things get started and then they stop or they you take two steps forward and then go uh, three steps back. Um, so there is a need to make things balanced here. Um, I'm also seeing someone that is a repeated offender, someone who falls into the same type of pattern and is is also just kind of like making the same mistakes over and over again is having to repeat some sort of lesson or cycle over and over uh, until you have learned it here. This is also about making uh, poor choices here, being indecisive, uh, making poor investments, uh, you know, just back and forth. There's a lot of back and forth and instability going on here. Also here with the Five of Swords, there could be something, someone's behavior or someone's, uh, these repeated cycles or patterns cause um, a rift or a disconnect here because I'm seeing suddenly being at odds with someone and I'm also seeing that someone may love one person more than the other or there may be some sort of um, unrequited love situation going on where the love is just not returned. One person is just putting all of their energy and they're doing all the the, um, the flirtation or pursuing or putting all their efforts in and they're not getting the same thing in return. And the other person just ignores them or uh, suddenly becomes distant with the other person. I'm also picking up uh, the possibility of mind games being played here. And... Also, just, you know, there's some sort of pattern where you guys are trying to one up the other person. So this is trying to prove a point by any means necessary, not caring whose feelings get hurt or whatever. I'm feeling like two people are having, there is some sort of communication issues. Um, I'm also seeing the possibility of maybe jealousy, being jealous of two people who are connected or have something in common. This could be your behavior or somebody else's behavior towards you, 
like someone being jealous of what you have but there is a bit of uh, if not jealousy maybe more so like envious someone who's envious here and i'm seeing you know someone's whose feelings have been hurt and it's it's like a defense mechanism it's something that just keeps happening over and over again it's it's hot and cold on and off someone someone gets guarded defensive distant cold i'm also seeing the need of someone either confronting you about something or you confronting them there's also the need to set some sort of boundaries going on. So someone is trying to have clarity or someone is speaking their truth or trying to be direct here. But mostly for whatever reason, there is some sort of uh, hostile energies going on. So with the four of wands here, this is finally either getting over someone, moving over from, moving over, moving over, moving on from someone. And maybe because you found interest in someone else or you found interest in another a hobby or your job or another passion, something helps you to move on from someone. Um, now, also, this can for others of you, this is talking about establishing something new together or making some sort of changes in your home. I'm seeing having some sort of connection with the fire sign. You may be asked out or deciding to give someone uh, new a try. So it's like you're you're not being so close minded with something. You're deciding to change something up a little. So you're like, OK, well, this isn't normally my type, um, but I'm going to give this a try. So you're trying something new for the first time with, you know, that someone that you've never been with before or whatever the case you're This is new. And so you're, you may be uh, going out on a date and having fun and uh, taking a chance and getting to know someone here. And then for others of you, this is you and your partner, your, your long-term partner, just taking your relationship to the next level. Here with the Six of Pentacles, I'm feeling like someone may offer you an apology or you're asking for an explanation. Whatever you're asking for, someone is giving this to you and it brings you some sort of uh, clarity or emotional balance here. And also here with the Hanged Man, I feel like you're seeing someone from a different perspective or a higher perspective here. Um, you may be looking at an earth sign from a different perspective. You're like, hmm, I don't know. I see you for who you are or I'm seeing you for your true colors. Um, so I feel like this experience with it and it doesn't have to be an earth sign. Um, but whatever the case, I'm seeing like through this experience, you have been enlightened or gained some sort of knowledge or wisdom. I'm also seeing to you daydreaming about something either in meditation or in prayer. Uh, but there is something or someone that you have been daydreaming about. Uh, there may be a need for you to uh, There may be a need for you to put someone on hold or maybe someone is is putting you on hold. There's a need to take a time out or isolate yourself from something so that you can clear your mind or so that you can uh, have a, a certain understanding about someone. Now, like I said, if someone has placed you on hold, it's because there's something some things that they need to consider or think about before moving forward. 
So I'm feeling like there's going to be um, like someone may leave the relationship. The, the relationship is on hold or in suspense or something until something is understood. But there is a possibility that there is an offering coming in here or someone wants to uh, say something or prove something to the other person. Financially, if you had asked for a loan, I feel like you're going to get it, but you may need to have some patience uh, or they may tell you you can have a loan or something. Um, or if you need some sort, any type of assistance, any type of assistance that you're needing or wanting, I feel like you're going to get it, but you're going to have to have a little patience or something may be taking a little longer than expected here. Um, for some reason, I want to clarify this four of wands here. So what is the four of wands saying here? This may have something to do with the new romance. Okay, so I do have it clarified by the Five of Pentacles. So for, like I said, for some of you, this is letting go or moving on from one person because you found someone new. Um, so it's like you're 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 ready to, you know, get to know someone else or get you're ready to start dating again here. Um, you may have. Yeah, you may have walked out on someone or um, if this isn't you, then unfortunately, it could be the other way around. Like the person has moved on from you and you feel uh, left out or abandoned. I wouldn't worry about it because I'm feeling like, like I said, if if something doesn't work out with one person, there is another person uh, right around the corner because there there seems to be something with two. Like someone may have been dealing with two people, two energies, and made a choice to move forward with one person and leave the other person behind. So it left this. You know, I'm, uh, two people just ended up going their separate ways here. Not for everyone, but that is what I'm seeing for some people. And I am also seeing like somebody possibly being asked out on a date. And even if someone does ask you out on a date too, another thing I'm seeing is that you're going to say, let me think about it. Um, or you're being hesitant or don't give them a direct answer. Um, and then you may decide to move forward with them. All right, so you guys, this has been a general reading. If you want a private reading, you will email the mat76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Just click on the link, um, email me, and I'll send you a price list. Uh, but don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and many blessings to you.